Hey guys, Thomas TGM here, and today I will be showing you how to create captions in Unity. So let's say you have a game. Uh, I've created a really quick um, map here, basically just a first-person guy with some planes, so you can jump on them. And what's going to happen is on the bottom of the screen uh, you will have captions, so like a text or something, which will explain what's going on in the game. Um, so I will show you how to do that right now. So all I literally have is three planes um, and an FPS controller. Um, that is as simple as it gets. So in my project I've imported a few environment assets and stuff, you don't have to uh, depending on your project, but all you have to do is go game object, UI and text and that's going to create a canvas, I always pop it on the very bottom and I'm going to go 2D mode uh, so I know how it's going to look like, let me just zoom out, there we go. So that's my canvas of the game uh, and it comes with a text obviously because that's what we've done and I'm going to rename it to text one. Um, so let's make it write something like... Okay, so I'm going to assign a white color to it and obviously the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to animate the text so it fades in and fades out at the right time uh, creating what we want. Um, so let the text is obviously going to be on the bottom here. So let's just assign this area here is for the text. So let's pop that in the middle. Uh, best fit. There you go. Best fit always does the job very well. Uh, let's pop it. Yeah, up here is actually fine. <coughs> uh, and what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to go component, uh, UI, effects, and outline just so the um, the text is going to have a black outline. I'll probably change the black to uh, yellow or something just so it's better, to, easier to see, or red actually. There you go, red. Look at that. Okay, so we've got our text. Uh, we're gonna go into animation. Actually, uh, in your project, create a new uh, folder and call it animations. Animations. Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna go into that uh, and pressing on text one, animations, create a new one. Uh, as it's in the animations folder and call it text one. Save. Okay, so from what well, all we're going to use is the color of both of these, the outline and the text. I think you, you, you can only use the text anyway because it's going to affect the outline by itself. So from zero we want it to be invisible obviously. There you go, yeah, you only, you only have to play around with the color of the actual text. Um, it's going to be zero and we're going to make it zero, control C, uh, for about a minute. Uh, for a second, sorry. So for one second, it's going to be zero, and then in thirty, in half a second, so one thirty, it's going to come back up to full, and then we're going to keep that going for about three seconds. So one, two, three, three seconds, and then we're going to copy this this one again, and at three seconds, Control V, it's going to disappear. Okay, so that's done. We can stop. Rec um, we can stop animating that. Let's go to the project and uh, in our animations folder, we've got the text animation. Make sure you delete the loop. <coughs> uh, you can leave the um, controller if you want. You don't really need that anyway. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna in the canvas we're gonna right click and create a new text again, and we're gonna rename this one to text two. So, text 1 animation finished on 3.30, so text 2. Best fit, now it's going to overlap, so what I'd do for text 1 is I'd um, press this text script thing to disappear for now, so it's easier for you to see the second text. Um, and again, I'm going to go component, UI, effects, outline, uh, just go for red. And create a new animation, and this one's going to be called text2, two, text2. Two. <coughs> and again, uh, it's going to be invisible at the beginning, and it's going to be this time, it's going to in be invisible for 3 seconds. Uh, 2, 3, let's say 4 seconds, 4 seconds, uh, because you need a bit of a tra transition, and then at 4.30, it's going to come in, boom. 
and then we're going to copy this value when it's uh, visible for four, uh, one, two, three. Let's say three seconds, and at three thirty. At 3.30 it's going to disappear again and stop the record, stop the animation, sorry, uh, text to do not loop. The second one worked but the first one didn't because we didn't turn the text on so there we go, let's turn that on and now if you go into game, you start playing, once there was a dude who only lived, yeah that was a bit too quick, so because you can't read it. So we're going to come back to text number one and all you have to do is just move these last two points, uh, so from two let's make it to 230 to 4 430 so it finishes at 5 and then text 2 animation it's gonna come up from 5 from 530 to 830 let's have a look how that looks once there was a dude who only lived on 3 planes he was always bored and had nothing to do and that should disappear and that was the end of it um, and yeah you can do as many as you want of these obviously you have to make sure you get the timing right for them uh, and that's how you caption your game and that was a request from uh, one of my subscribers uh, he uh, asked me to help him out because he didn't know how to do it um, again you could do it different ways but this is the way I know how to do it and it's probably the easiest way uh, and the simplest way Okay, thank you for watching this quick tutorial, um, I'll see you in the next video, bye!